These are vintage Halloween trick-or-treat orange string lights, uh, 10 count here. Got these at the Goodwill for three bucks. And I hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Bolo video. I am going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. But I consider my bread and butter items that I sold for $35 or less. Um, typically, pick my items up at like estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, the Goodwill bins, YouTube auctions, Facebook marketplace. I'll pretty much source anywhere where I can find a good deal. Um, I do love to bundle. So if I go to garage sales and there's a bunch of toys, I like to pick them all up. So I do a lot of smalls and I source very, very cheap. So um, thank you for being here and thank you for watching and let's get started. All right. The first item is this vintage Star Wars Galob, I think is how you say it. It's uh, a new old stock toy. I got this at a garage sale. I think I paid five bucks for it. I took a best offer of $20 plus shipping for this. So anytime I can find new old stock toys, even if it's not something I'm super familiar with, I will pick it up. Like Star Wars, Star Trek, I don't really know too much about that, but this had a barcode on it. So in, it's in the packaging. So it's really easy to look up. This is a vintage signed solid copper braided cuff bracelet. It is marked solid copper. So I just put that in my title and I got this out of a bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I purchased 344 pounds of jewelry. Um, if you go way back on my channel, there's a whole series on that. And um, I sold this for $15 plus shipping. I am still listing the stuff. It's going to take me a while. And I think I'm going to put some of it over on whatnot. I think I'm going to do auctions over there. I think that'll be a quicker way for me to move some inventory because the jewelry usually gets pushed to the side and I try to list the bigger stuff because the jewelry doesn't take up much room. So whatnot might be where I'm going to sell at. If you uh, check down in the description, there is a link that will take you to my whatnot. If you are um, not signed up to buy on whatnot, if you use that link, you'll get $10 credit to buy. So uh, definitely check that out. But uh, I'm Bolo Buddies over there. If you're already on whatnot, just follow me. And hopefully I will see you in one of my auctions soon. All right. This is a Transformers Rescue Bots Reskin Boulder, the construction bot dump truck. And I love picking up these Rescue Bots. I usually get them really, really cheap, like 25 cents, 50 cents. Um, I don't pay a whole lot for them because they're a major bread and butter. I got this one at a thrift store for 50 cents and I sold it for $7 plus shipping. This is a Build-A-Bear Sanrio Hello Kitty 2011 plush. It is missing the bow. There's a bow that attaches right here. And this one, I got at a garage sale for a buck and I sold that for $30 plus shipping. If you want to know about the top 10 Build-A-Bear that were trending when I did the video, Go check out my Build-A-Bear video. The Rebel Reseller also recently did a video on the top selling Build-A-Bear currently. So you can check her out as well. She has an awesome channel and she specializes in plush. This is a Forever Collectibles Y Collegiate Sock Monkey. I don't know if what the Y stands for. So I wish I would have known that because I think that would have helped me sell the item. I got this at the Goodwill bins, I think, and I sold this for $9 plus shipping and it sold pretty quick. These are the Paw Patrol minifigures cake toppers and I sold these for $7.50 plus shipping. I don't remember where I got them. They're just a bread and butter, um, but people need them for their cakes for their kids parties and stuff like that. So when I do see them, I do pick them up because they do sell. This is a Hallmark 2018 Groot and the Rocket Marvel Avengers Infinity War keepsake ornament. This came out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold this for $11.90 plus shipping. Hallmark ornaments, I like to pick them up um, if I see them and they're a good price. Some of them go for more than others. I recently came across some uh, Jack Skellington and you'll see those in my big money bolo videos, but they were in a thrift store mystery box as well. And they have been selling super fast for the $40 range. This is vintage Muffy Vanderbear clothesline midi top boxer shorts set from 1999. I got this at a garage sale and this sold really quick for $22.40 plus shipping. 
The next item are these hair accessories. It's Mickey mini goofy hair accessories. Super cute. This was a long tail item. It did take a while to sell, but again, you know, you just got to wait on the right buyer and they are a harder to find item. They may even be custom made. I'm not really sure, but I sold these for $13.99 plus shipping. These are vintage Halloween trick or treat orange string lights, uh, 10 count here. Got these at the Goodwill for three bucks and I sold them for $35 plus shipping. These are vintage serving trays. They are hand forged art hammered aluminum, almost got it, aluminum embossed flower from 1949. I got these out of a dibble box, which is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. A uh, mystery reseller box, basically. And uh, it's not always a mystery, but sometimes it is. Uh, these, I think I bought uh, during a live show at an auction on Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. I don't think this was a mystery, but I'm not I'm not sure. I sometimes buy mystery boxes also from her. Um, I will link her down below. If you guys are looking for inventory, it's a great place to source in the comfort of your own home, and it will be shipped to your door. If you spend $40 or more, the shipping is free. So great place to source. I have found some really great stuff. Sold these for $17 plus shipping. This is a vintage lot of five clip-on earrings. I don't remember where I got these, probably a garage sale. And I ended up selling these for $15 plus shipping. This is a Fisher Price Little People vintage Sesame Street Miss Hopper Grandma. She is a harder to find little people figurine here figure, figurine, toy, whatever. Um, I sold her for $14 plus shipping and she came out of a thrift store mystery box. This one right here is a vintage Eberhard Faber Van Dyke typewriter eraser brush wheel. And I ended up selling this for $8.40 plus shipping. I got it at a garage sale for about a quarter. It was in a little lot of items that I purchased. And I will tell you this thing sold fast. This is a Disney Mulan pet horse. Con, I think is the name, plastic action figure. I got this at a garage sale for 10 cents and I sold it for $10.50 plus shipping. The next item here is this Lego vintage Count Dooku. I don't know, yellow Star Wars figure. And he's not perfect. I mean, he's actually pretty beat up. And I got him out of the Goodwill bin. So he has been ruffled and tuffled all around. And I still sold him for $12 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $17.75 for that. That's amazing, right? This little Tykes dollhouse, Cozy Coop miniature red, yellow mini doll car. I did price this on the low end. And the reason I did that is because the wheel is damaged. If you look right here and then on the inside, it's like all scratched up. So I priced it low at $7 and it sold super quick. I got it at a garage sale for around a buck. It was it with a dollhouse and a bunch of other stuff. So probably a dollar, maybe 50 cents. This is a vintage amethyst chip nugget necklace, and I sold a bunch of these from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 344 pounds of jewelry. I had a bunch of amethyst in there. This one, for some reason, took a little bit longer to sell. I did end up selling this for $25 free shipping. This is a Clue Junior game, and it came out of a thrift store mystery box. I don't normally mess with board games because they're heavy, unless they are vintage or something special. But what I have been doing is putting them on Poshmark because I feel like, like this is $9.90 to ship, right? On Poshmark, it would be a little less than $8. It's $7 in some sense to ship. So board games, as long as they're not super big, are great for Poshmark but this one sold on eBay. I uh, ended up selling for $11.90 plus shipping. These are vintage tallies. They're for bridge, they're scorecards. And I just thought they were pretty cool. They're vintage. Somebody can use these to craft or they can actually use them for their intended perfect purpose. I got these at a garage sale. I don't remember what I paid for them, but I ended up selling them for $14.50 plus shipping. And that was more of a long tail item. This is a Creative Memories Heart Maker scrapbooking paper punch, and it's got the two punches and then the little holder. That's where you put your little uh, little hearts once you punch them. It's like a little carry case. I got this from a garage sale. I paid $50 for a huge lot of Creative Memories stuff, and boy, oh boy, that stuff is flying out of my store, and that was a great buy. Um, I wasn't really sure at first because I'm like, they had 75 on it, and I got them down to, well, Actually, she knew I was thinking about it. And she's like, how about 50? Take it all for 50. And I ended up doing it. 
And um, it, I'm glad I did, but it just wasn't something that I felt super confident about. And there have been a lot of new old stock items in there and I've done really, really good. So you'll see those in other what sold videos. Ended up taking a best offer of 15 plus shipping on those. The next item is this Lennox Joy Christmas ornament charm. And this sold um, to a lady named Joy, which I thought was pretty cool. But it came out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold it for $8 plus shipping. These came out of the Goodwill bins. Can you believe that these lived through the bins? Like they weren't broken. I just thought they were cool because it's old vintage advertising. I didn't test them or anything like that. I just was selling as is, as seen. Uh, so probably two bucks or less for these. And I sold these for $18 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Mamsell. Ma'am Sully, I don't know how to say it. Initial M or W, textured diamond cut brushed brooch pin. Got this at a garage sale for 50 cents, sold it for $14 plus shipping. Oh my goodness, this dog. You guys. <laughs> okay, so I believe this was, um, this was, uh, I bought it from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel and she was doing $50 plush with free shipping. I bought a box and the rebel reseller bought a box and then we did a collab video where we each unboxed and you guys decided who you thought had the better box but this guy was in my box and it's a dakin lou rankin which is a good brand let me show you it's got this on the paw here's the tag but this thing the hair was just a hot mess and i was like donna's like you can brush them. And she has this little trick that she has on her YouTube channel, how you can brush them. And I'm like, I am not brushing that thing. I am just selling it as is. And I am just going to disclose that it is well loved. You guys, I just read my feedback on this. And the person was like thrilled with this dog. They're like, it looks like their dog that passed away. And they were so, so happy. And they just gave me the best feedback. And I almost didn't list it because I thought it was a little bit well loved, too loved and I didn't want to brush it out. So anyway, I was wrong on this one. It sold and the person was super happy. So I'm guessing it's just supposed to be a little scruffy. <laughs> but anyway, I sold this for $10.50 plus shipping. I will link Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel down below. I know recently she was doing a $60 bag of plush. It's a mystery bag with free shipping. Uh, shipping rates have gone up. So uh, she's doing $60 now, which is still a great deal. And because some, I mean, there you get a big ball of plush. Check out the video that I did. Um, I did one with Noel, Farm Girl Scavenger, that's on my channel. And that was a $50 free shipping that Noel sent me as a gift. And then I did the collab video against the Rebel Reseller. So if you check out the two videos of mine and the Rebel Resellers video, that'll give you kind of an idea of different plush that you can get. But she literally just throws them in a pile and bags them up and ships them out. So you never know what you're going to get. I've seen people get some really great stuff. So and sometimes you just get a bunch of bread and butter, but you usually definitely make a profit. So check Donatella Bottolino out. Check out Noel Farm Girl Scavenger and check out the Rebel Reseller. I will try to remember to link them all down below. This is a train. It's actually Thomas the Train Wooden Railway Sodor Mining Company Gold Cargo Car. And this, I can't remember where I got it, but I ended up selling it for $9.80 plus shipping. Probably a garage sale or a thrift store. Who knows? This is a Vintage Breakfast Babies Beanbag General Mill, Mills Cheerio Buzz Bee. I remember I got this from an estate sale. I bought a whole bunch of them. They were 50 cents each. I knew that they were going to be bread and butter, but they were still sealed in the packaging. And I'm like, 50 cents, I'm going to get them. And I've sold quite a few of them. I still have quite a few left, though. So they're more long tail. Sold this for $10.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Astor Place Counted Cross Stitch. I don't remember where I got this one, but I ended up selling it for $9. I took a best offer on that one. So that one is a major bread and butter. Some of these can go for big money. I sold one recently for $150. So um, some of those uh, can be big money. So I do have a video on cross stitch kits to be on the lookout for. So you can check out that. It's a category video where I pick a category and I talk about it and I teach you some of the higher, um, I, higher priced sold comps to look for and I have lots of category videos so check those out 
This is a Smoke and Joe's racing hat. I probably got this at a garage sale for 50 cents or a buck. Ended up selling this for $20 plus shipping. The next item is this huge lot of 100 Shopkins minifigure toys. I usually lot these up. I sold these for a best offer of $33 plus shipping. And I got those at a um, thrift store. This is a Fon Fontanini 261 Shepherd Children Nativity Replacement Figure made in Italy. This sold really, really quick. I got it at a garage sale for a buck and somebody offered me $13 and I went ahead and ran with it. So $13 plus shipping on that one. The next item is this Blaze and the Monster Machine die cast peg wheel Pete the Pirate truck. I got this. I don't remember where I got this. I pick up these Blaze and the Monster Machine everywhere. Anytime I see them, if they're at a garage sale, the Goodwill bins, thrift stores, I pick them up. They are a nice little bread and butter bolo. This one sold for $16.90 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Barbie pool party pool slide railings handrails from 1973. This is from a uh, garage sale. I bought a play set. It was part of it was damaged and I went ahead and decided to part it out just to see how it would go. This is the second piece I have sold from that. This is a Fina Leotard Elsie Child large velour sequins girls dress. I got this out of a mystery Halloween box um, from Auctions for You. Actually, you know what? I think she unboxed this on her channel. I think uh, this was an auction. I'm sorry. This was a live auction and I bid on it. Got a really good deal on it. Have made a lot of money on that. I do have an unboxing of that as well on either this channel or my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. Both those will be linked down below. Um, so probably had a buck or two in this and I sold this for $16.24 plus shipping. It did take a while to sell. Um, auctions for you is, uh, her and Donatella Bottolino go back and forth on each other's channels and I buy from both of them and they will both be linked down below. Great inventory for resellers. This is a Fisher Price Geotrax Yellow Grand Central Station train remote control only batteries not included. I got this at a garage sale for a buck and I sold this for $11 and 70 cents plus shipping. All right, you guys there, there. There, there were, there were 35 bread and butter bolos in this video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. It's after midnight, I think. Yes, it's after midnight. So I'm getting a little silly. All right. I am off to bed. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure, be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And if you want to hit that bell, that will alert you when I post new videos. I would appreciate it so much if you did that. And let me know in the comments how you found the channel and leave me a hat emoji or just write the word hat. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.